Hola, amores. Welcome to my channel. My name is Mimi, and this is Stationary Amore. If this is your first time here, welcome, welcome. And if you are a returnee, thank you so much for your support. And if you like the content of this video, please subscribe and like button. So today we have a slight um, unboxing slash comparison video. Um, as I said previously in my videos, I did went out and purchase the Sterling Inc. Um, academic uh, planner. And I kind of, I was just curious to see what was the difference between her common planner, if there was any major difference or is quite similar. Um, and maybe you were thinking about it, but you wasn't sure if it was a, you know, a waste of money since it might be similar to the common planner so we're going to discover that together today and see what we have going on um, but the sole purpose of me buying the academic planner is because i do have a couple of classes i will be taking um, actually starting uh, this month and into the fall so i just wanted a planner that would just be completely academic purposes and my note taking and uh, my class schedules and stuff like that and then i am going to purchase another planner just for my everyday planner so my catch-all planner and i have decided that i will just um you know I, i'm not gonna do a lot of multi planners um, i think two would be good enough for me i don't think three or four or five planners i think that's just a little bit too excessive so i think um you know just having an academic planner and a catch catch-all planner is just like the right uh number of planners that i need so uh let's see we're going to so this is i do have her first first common planner um, release and she did it in the B6 size in 2023 and then I got her uh, TN size on 2024 so I think I would just compare it to the TN since this is you know they were both released in the same year uh, rather than just compare it to the B6 size um, so yeah I think I'm just gonna do that and see but first let's just open this lovely thing Okay, as always, she does give a little freebie. So let's see what are these. So this is her June kit, and it has like mermaids and lily pads and all that stuff. So, um, so freebie there. And I did order it, and uh, it um the academic planner comes in a full year. It doesn't. There's no like half years or anything. So it does run from um, June of 2024 all the way to, I believe, July of 2025. Uh, let's just see. I don't know, I'm a little confused. Cause this says July, 2024 to June, 2025, full year common planner. And maybe it's, because it doesn't say academic, that probably threw me off. Hold on, let me see. So, it says 2024, 2025, full, okay. Okay, so yeah, this is the academic planner. Huh. All right, so I guess this is the right one. That that really just threw me off. I, I would... I thought it said academic plan in the front. So I guess she did send the right one. Um, glad for it. I just thought it would be a little thicker than that. I don't know why. So this is her A5 size, her TN size, her B6 size, and then this is her weak size. This is, is this on my burnt orange Moterm cover. But this is her weak size. Um, this is not a planner, of course. This is just a chunky 520-page notebook that I just use, you know, not on it every day, but when I need it. Um, uh, but just showing you guys the different sizes. But we're going to compare the academic calendar with her common planner. 
and she names both of them common planner so that's the where i was confused um but first let's see so in the beginning of the page you have the full two full year calendars here i don't know if she does that with her common planner let's see so she does not this didn't have a calendar this is just a blank page inside so right off the bat I, the 2024 year at a glance calendar here so right off the bat i mean i'm sure because there's more space here that she was able to do that and i'm sorry it's, it's really cold in my house so that's i'm wearing a sweater and then she has a blank page where you can do a vision board like she likes to do and then you get into uh the gold gold breakdown um what it says someday one year half year quarterly monthly weekly and daily so that's how the goals are broken down which i really don't use but it, it could even be used for a tracker i have no idea you know like you can tell right here, I, I don't really even use a goal breakdown as blank. But maybe it's a good, you know, to write books or things that you need to achieve during that academic year. And then the following page is the quarterly. Um, so priorities, uh, July, August, September. And then you have them on a, a pay, uh, daily And this, she gives you one, two, three. So I guess she gives you a quarterly page per semester. Right, so this quarterly page runs from July through September. Then the, this one runs from October to December. And then this is the new year, which is quarter one from January to March, quarter two from April to June. I'm sorry if you guys can't see that. Let me just try to zoom in a little bit. And then, and then she gives you the June 2024 calendar monthly calendar and then it goes all the way to if i'm not mistaken july 2025 so this is june 2024 runs all the way to july 2025 and then she starts her weeks um in July of 2024. So she doesn't give you a week for June 2024. And this is how it looks like. It looks pretty similar to her planner. Although there's some, maybe that's just the ghosting of something of the month, let's see. Yeah, that's just the ghosting numbers. So, um, but she starts from 6 a.m. all the way down to 12 midnight. Gives you a nice space on the bottom here and on the side for any to-do notes or any reminders. But let me just compare it to my TN um, weeks because, well, this is, um, I have it in the horizontal, so not much of a comparison. Let me see in my B6, the weeks. I think in this one, you can, this, yeah, this was the vertical. Let's see if I can find a blank page. Sorry about that. <laughs> Here we go. So this is her weeks from 2023, her vertical weeks. So I believe that she took out this line on her common planner, those who have the vertical one. She did take out the line, so it can be like more or less constricting. But I believe it's the same layout as her common planner 
uh, vertical weeks or vertical layout. And I like the, I do like the number um, that is a little bit more bolder than uh, previously because, it, you know, you're, is, you're, you're supposed to pan out chunks of times when your classes are or things that important dates. So I do like that. I do like the fact that the uh, hourly, the hour numbers are bold. So there's a weekly um, layout for each month. And I honestly don't think is any different than the common planner. Honestly, I mean, if you guys do see the difference, between this academic, I think the major difference is just that it's a full year that runs from July to June, which is the academic year. But in the common planner, I think she starts her common planner um, for January, from January to January. Uh, let me see what. <laughs> so this is a full year, and I believe it, she does start her uh, planner in January or you know she gives you that grace of giving you a December calendar so here it goes December of 2023 and I believe it does go to January of 2025 so this is a full year uh, planner that goes that starts you can start it in December, but it doesn't act, her weekly doesn't actually start until January. She doesn't give you weeklies for December. So yeah, I think that's really the major difference between the academic planner as uh, obvious versus her full year common uh, year planner. So I guess that's the whole point of it. She is a homeschool mom. I'm a stay-at-home mom, so things do start a little bit early for me as well. And uh, this will be the first year that I am trying to take more than one Bible class. So I'm really curious to see how this planner will work out for me. And um, yeah, that's really much, that's the only uh, difference is just when the uh, planner starts. And you do have a full year. It starts from july of 2024 or june 2024 to july of 2025 and then you have all these wonderful um daily pages and i believe there's about uh 367 um pages on a daily so you know is it worth purchasing Another planner right now from Sterling Inc. When you're already in the middle of July in her full year planner. I Again, it depends on if you're going back to school, if you're a, home, a stay at home mom. I think she purposely just thought about four um, students and teachers that can um, really make this very, um, it'll be beneficial for them because where if you have been on your planner we're already half through our planner and we got about maybe six months um before we switch over to a brand new planner so i think that's uh, the only major difference the layout seems quite uh, the same in her other common planner uh vertical planners and it, it doesn't seem like she did much to it except just the start date and end date and um, giving you plenty of dailies in the in the back for note taking and uh, memory keeping i guess but yeah let me know what your thoughts are on uh, down below i hope this was a good just a quick review and comparison between the two um if you're planning to buy it let me know what what's the purpose that you're going to use it for but i do um, plan to buy her new 2025 uh, planner whenever she releases that she hasn't mentioned anything yet but i am looking out for uh, those notifications and as well as um, but i'm not sure if i'm going to stay with the tn or maybe downsize to her weeks 
because I kind of really want to try this size out as my uh, catch-all planner. But let me know your thoughts. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you have a great summer. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.